cannot do a board game in what's my own thoughts. Fine. Look, we must give them aid. You would use them? It is not a matter of using. We know it will return to finish its own work. Khadiv, please, we will be ready this time. It speaks in salt and fire. It sings in coal and brimstone. Cannot sully this earth with any more innocent blood. <laughs> God, why? Where did I go? I couldn't. I, my baby. You lied to them. I'm sorry. I east, west. I, I don't know. I, Which direction it went? I don't. Just please leave me be. <laughs> Thank you. Wait. You, you are, where were you? Why weren't you here? <laughs> it was not my intention. I had hoped Hope? to arrive soon. Look around. There is nothing left. It's gone. It's, it's all gone. <laughs> Senor, enough. That's enough. You bite. Senor, we have no time for this. We have a duty to protect. We swore an oath to kill. Don't allow your heart sense sway our goals, knight. I am no knight, but I know them, you babe. Trust me, there are other ways. I do not allow your love. I have no love for them. I'm listening. We track it down. It'll need to rest. What are you doing? She needs to regain her strength. She? The scrapes. The prince, six claw marks dragging through the soil. The males only have five. Then lead us on what, fair sage? For we are but lowly bludgeoneers. Speak for yourself, more. Hmm. With all that metal, what fun could the pot? Prefer to be broiled or stewed? You're the ones with the burns, you babe. Ah, but as I feared, it should be either you. <laughs> no use in chasing it now. But as you said, it will recover. You must strike now while the eyes. What? In your condition. We set up camp and pick it back up in the morning. Fine. I have, I have enough wine to last us for a thousand nights. Well, I don't drink. Why come here? All the way in the middle of Saxon, away from the warm, endless summers. Wine, red liquors, just to die in. Well, this shithole. Hmm. While the depths of sun and tasty rum made my belly quite thick, and this Saxon cold could only freeze the bow, it sinks to your queen, now that I'm only slim with only heavy pockets to weigh me down. I wonder. If you could be anything more than a cutthroat mercenary. In Wrong Eden Knight in the shining armor, Prince Charming fresh from the round table, shielded from the evils of the world. You're a child. You are with the Verita. Hmm. And what the hell is that? It's someone who eats livers. <laughs> Sands. Beware, you by the liberator. I'm sure such a dangerous man is filled with tales and dastardly deeds. Isn't that the life of a sold sword? I have many tales of which you will never hear. Thank God my ears are free from whatever sludge you'd spew. And raided villages, stole, raped. Slave dragons? How many? Seven. This one will be my eighth. Ha, wait, that is impossible. Lancelot, our greatest knight, he, he fell to one. Precisely. Then tell me, why does the queen request me? It seems that your knights aren't enough. Don't disrespect him. He fought with valor and courage. He's died. He's dead now. 
Why waste your breath on the breathless? A petty thief with a nose for gold that by pleasures and fetishes shrouded in a cloak of unruly nonchalance. I know your kind well. Slay or be slain. Your teeth and eyes match that of our prey. Have you no honor? I do, just not for you. Oops, blind. So speak, O holy center of Saxon. Why does the filth crown knight? I stand for virtues, morals, and ideals you could never stomach. You, you speak of your heavy belly and pockets. I wear the weight of my people's well-being. I heave so that they may breathe. I would die so that they can live. You're not the only one fighting for someone here. My I was taught to fight since the age of five. My father placed a sword in my hand before I could lift my own head. Well, it must be easy to carry now with all that hot air. <laughs> He laughs? I'm not a stone. I feel things. <laughs> and I'm not a living eater. I eat hearts too. My heart is shriveled, cold and dead. So you wouldn't like it very much. There's nothing really there to enjoy. All right, you buy. Tell us how you slew your first dragon. Well, Zendo. Dragged in my tongue. It was raining, yes, that day. It had come to our village to feed in our cattle, to warm the earth before its slumber. I was a boy on the verge of manhood. It was me and my father. Man, sir, we ran searching for the beast. The flap of its wing, the roar of screech, the cries of our neighbors had drowned in in hope of tracking it. Ah! Quickly now, come! I was terrified. Just a boy being asked to fight and die for his people. The sacrifice was too cramped for a cub to bear. What happened? Did he? Yes. We are doomed! Ah! How, how did you kill it? I didn't. I ran. I thought you said this was a story about how you slew your first dragon. It is. You killed its child. I killed the dragon. It would have grown up to be. Dragons a are dragons. Simple as that. <laughs> I agree with you. Yes, they are. It's, it's in their nature. They can't control themselves. Poor things. Sympathy? No, understanding. There was no way we could coexist. We build, and they burn. You seem so sure. I am. There was this lesson we had in the study. My mentor, Garius. He was an old and well-read lad, kind heart. Indicator of savagery. Uh, see the impression here on this one? Signs of gluttony, avarice, the hungry one, yes. Well, it was a red-bellied fire starter. The people named him Potbelly. <laughs> Potbelly? Why is that? Potbelly had a liking for pigs. Oh. How about this one? Ah, yes, I believe this one was a black-scaled swamp glider. They're typically more cruel than their red counterparts. Cruel? What did he do? Well, a Potbelly liked to burn down villages and eat piglets. Black tongue, well, it enjoyed eating tongues. My tongue? Oh, yes. Especially of young girls from castles. No, 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 no! <laughs> so, you look at skulls all day. Yeah, with that old bag of bones. Nice. Well, yes, sorry. good memories. Each of them here, killers. 
Potbelly didn't only eat pigs. Black Tongue only ate people. Well, what about this one? Oh, well, uh, this one here, we named it Cannibal. We found the small bones of young dragons in its stomach. Oh. Oh. You will serve an important role as an advisor to the queen on their threat they pose, Godiva. If given the chance, they'd ravage the countryside, plucking livestock, setting fire to farmers' fields and our homes, and with the world charred black and the rivers but dry banks, they would devour us, our, our history, our legacy. Our books? Yes, our books. But uh, alas, they cannot be blamed. Why can't they? It's in their nature. What creature eats its own young? What monster sets fire to the homes of honest innocents? It's senseless. You can't bargain with them. You, you can't. It Demons guised as serpents. They're a mockery of creation. A demon or not, they have earned the sword. That is why we journey onward. The work of generation is almost complete. The last dragon. You really believe it's the last? Yes. Its rage is pure. Unlike the cloud in mind of most, it has a purpose in his own actions. Yes. Where most would butcher with apathy or disdain, this one fights with fury. A fury I envy. Envy? The strength, the resolve. Garius perished at the siege of Lake Town. My father and my brother on the field of five claws. Each time, each time those I loved died, my books couldn't save them or me. I knew their anatomy. Their weak spots. In between the shoulder blade where the wings meet their upper back, or if you get just close enough, underneath their jaw, the soft, unscaled bottom leaves them quite vulnerable to attack. Or you can just, you can even strike them in the, in, in the neck. If I had just half her strength, or even a quarter, how many mothers would still be with child and, and spouse? You can't. Do that to yourself. I must. I learned too late lessons that would have saved many from a dreadful fate. That we shall apply. As your sword, Kadiva, you know as always, I do oblige. But are you ready to die? Yes. No. A fight will be then. A fight indeed. And an end to tyranny. Right. Humility. Don't make me just. My whole life, I sought a purpose, and this might be it. Oh well, you're about to get. Shh. Let him speak. Well, we're all sharing stories. I just thought I might as well. Please do. I have been shielded my whole life the evils of this world. I thought being a knight meant a life of valor and battle and saving princesses, maybe even... Finding the Holy Grail? Yes. Alas, no. No. Court appearances dressed in unusable armor. They would dent or scratch with the press of a finger. <laughs> like dolls prancing around the pretty castle to make everybody else look good. Where was our glory? Our fight? Handled by men from far off lands because they were better? No, I, I didn't get by chance to prove myself, and now it's... Senma, we are no better. The queen would rather burn her men down in her world than her own children. We were raised for war since we were children. War with whom? Enemies of Saxon, uh, of the queen, uh, of God. Sedmar, you're being a bit dramatic. The lifetime of pondering my legacy, that would breathe the songs that the bards would sing, 
And here we are. Finally. The last fucking dragon. Let me kill it. Send more. You bait. The people of Abyssinian are freed from this plague, yet blood and brimstone still fertilize the Saxon soil. Senmar, you and I, on behalf of our people, we swore an oath to protect, to up. Say the words. You. You remember them. I'm not a stone. I feel things. No. That wouldn't make sense with what he's suggesting. It's more likely he was going to say, We're I remember the divorce. Why would you say that? Expect the unexpected. Neil. In the name of God and in service of his crown, bear the fruit for this circle's union. Speak the oath for ordained rune. In name, country, and in duty will these three deliver divine retribution. Creed in tire, breathe, breathe with fire, bound by cause we stand three fighters, to save, to mold, to protect and uphold. Faith, justice, peace. Words be true. Speak thou heart, be pure. Rise, not knight, nor prince, nor king. Rise, slayers of dragon. Rise, swords of purity. Hack, cleave, pierce and cut. Bring an end to the people's threat. Go forth, now saviors of kin. Together. We are the killer. Together. <laughs> Another. No more. No more. In the morning, we finish it. Good. We trust you then. Smell of Lavender. brimstone. A lavender? Yes. With the prince from earlier, we, she can fly. It points to Red Belly. Well, well how are we gutting this thing then? Senma, your tongue. You're so close. Yes, but it's still dangerous. You can't underestimate them. We cannot. We never fought one before. Do not get close. Let it use its fire. It can't forever. But when it stops, you have to be quick. Yes, it's a cave. I imagine there will be columns or divots. We must use them well. How, how will we know it's unable to breathe? They wheeze loud, high ringing, like a sword on a shield. Yes, they actually use the air to fuel their fire, pulling it out from their lungs. If they use too much, they risk suffocating to death. Then, then that's why we don't get too close. Well, they have large towns that could shred through your armor and torso. They could swallow you whole. Whole. Well, it depends I've on. I've seen it. it from the inside. Well, keep my shield up. You bathe behind me with your spear, Gadiva. Read the beast. Let us know if something's coming. Yes. They are particular with their body language. I should be able to warn you of incoming attacks. There. Here it be, on the hill of three, the last dragon slayers, a story to be. What? Why didn't you become a storyteller? Because I make them. Oh. Well, that was definitely rehearsed. Been waiting on that for a long time. Is this? I'm unsure. Keep your guard up. I smell blood. Are, are you all right? Fool! It's faint. Samar, get back! She's dead. Recently. In her hand. She took her life. The torture. The dragon must have kidnapped her. The pain. But we 
could, we could have been here sooner. We could have been here in time. No, no, don't do that to yourself. There was no way for us to have known. The cruel. Where are you? Show yourself, you slither. That's enough. It isn't here. Somewhere. Anywhere. We, what, what are you two doing? We must find it. We will kill it. Stop. Can't hear anything. You made it clear for now. Perhaps it's gone. Wait. What? What is it? Should we read it? There could be information on the dragon. Maybe even. I'll read it. What does it mean to be a monster? Is it red and clawed, winged and jawed? Or is it big and tall, slitted eyes with scales and all? Me, a fiend? Me, a beast? Not a mother, not a partner, just a monster. And she's gone mad, no point in reading this woman's last thoughts. Carry on, push on. Struggling, angry, starving, craving. I need you. They took you. No mercy. They took you all. You're all gone. I'm alone. There's no one. Just me, my thoughts, and the weight of every. Does she really think she's a dragon? The last dragon. We slayed and were slain. We played their game and paid. I now here at the end of our days. Revenge was sweet, watching the flames burn as they cried for their coin and children. <laughs> oh, how refreshing a sound. For a time. I thought it would spare the pain. Vengeance in it, I would find peace, justice, sanity. But she's... she's... Well, well she's... can't be. To no avail. Our lives, boons for coin, titles and damsels, our desecrated remains pondered and studied for good measure, our very souls condemned, cast into the lakes of fire that birthed us. I, Zeratora, last of the dragons, my fate unswayed by the moves of man. It shall only be by my hand. Is there any more? No. Kadifa, how did you not know of this? You, you studied them for years. Enough. E enough. Enough. Damn you, Sedmar! I, I, I don't understand. What is there to understand? The, the, the beds? The, the note? Why, why leave it here? Why end your life? Mad, as you made said, right? She's mad. You made. We do not speak of this. What, what will we tell the queen? The mission was a success. And 